So thank you for being here with me today. So you spoke about how good content doesn't sell itself. What do you think would help it sell? I mean, you could see from, like, what is the strategy to helping content becoming more than content? Um, I, so firstly, I think it starts with having a fair idea of what good content is mm -hmm. uh, based on what your business objective is. So mm -hmm. I think that's that's first. The, the second real point is that uh, you need to be able to invest, uh, not spend, I'm using the right word here. You need to be able to invest in the right media channels, uh, whether it's social, digital, uh, personal, mm -hmm. uh, to be able to ensure that good content gets out there to the people who you want to uh, to spread it to. Mm -hmm. uh, and my point really was that, that does not happen organically. I don't think you can, you know, say I have a great piece of content, I'm going to put minimum investment behind it, I'm going to boost it one day on YouTube and Facebook and it will work. In all my experience, I think if that at all happens, that's an outlier. Uh, but generally it doesn't. I mean, great campaigns, uh, marketers I think should be responsible enough to put uh, to ensure that it reaches the right people mm. uh, through sharp targeting uh, and media channel selection, basically. Mm. It's, it's almost like there's a strategy to the secret sauce that you were saying, and which I think a lot of people don't get. A lot of people just would be like, let's, everything's going digital, so let's put all our money in there and then it falls flat. So that brings me to my next question, where I think something that you've been quite successful at is identifying the ROI on content marketing because you need that to convince people to invest. So what would you say is to help other brands who haven't identified that yet? What should be like a few aspects of their ROI? Right. So to me, I think again, uh, to me, digital and social are great, uh, they're, they're great uh, media mm -hmm. to drive ROI. By ROI, I don't necessarily mean investing less. It means that it gives you, it, it essentially tells you that you can get more bang for your buck mm -hmm. uh, with uh, w with the same amount of money mm -hmm. by investing in say digital or social where you could drive reach, where you could drive engagement. It certainly allows you uh, to, to measure ROI better. Yeah. Uh, I think although in my view, I think you can measure ROI. I think the worry that happens and it it's a normal worry, right? Because marketing is an investment. The the worry that most people will have is that it doesn't sync up. But I think, in reality, to be able to map what we spend uh, to our uh, to uh, to how much we sell or our share in the category is just is just the right thing to do. Uh, so, yeah, two answers to your questions. I think digital and social will allow for better ROI tracking. Uh, and secondly, ROI should be tracked whether or not. Adds up. Yeah. That brings me to my last question is, how do you think like summits like CMS will help drive the conversation? Uh, <laughs> no, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a good question. I think, uh, I, I think content marketing is, uh, is new for most marketers, mm -hmm. which means, uh, for example, even for me, I do. I don't think that we under I understand content marketing enough, and I think there are companies who do. Um, and having forums like this brings companies who do together with companies that don't. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, generally, skill levels of marketers across categories and companies will improve because mm -hmm. of this. Uh, that's really it. I think that's that's the big benefit. Yeah. Well, thank you so much thank for you your much time. Much. Thank you.